You guys liked my three ingredient truffles, so I decided to keep the ball rolling with my three ingredient cookies. All you need is sugar, an egg, and some peanut butter or any nut butter of your choice and 15 minutes to make these bad boys. I've made these cookies with a hand mixer, by hand, and in a food processor, and they all come out the same. In no specific order, I added all of my ingredients to my processor and I let it blend for about a minute or two until all the ingredients were well combined. I made a batch with peanut butter and almond butter. To make this recipe a little healthier, I used a monk fruit sweetener that I'm trying out, and I forgot to record a clip of that, so let me Google that real quick. All right, awesome, I found her. You can use real sugar if you'd like, but if you're calorie conscious or watching your sugar, monk fruit, Truvia, and Swerve all worked really well in this recipe for me in the past. The batter on the left was made with peanut butter and the one on the right was made with almond butter. The consistency is identical. The almond butter cookie just came out a little darker. I rolled out 15 one and a half inch balls per batter, but depending on how big or small you make them, you should yield between 12 to 16 cookies. This part is totally optional, but I decided to add some extra ingredients to my almond cookies. Once I had enough batter in my hand for a cookie, I sprinkled in some shredded coconut or oatmeal and raisins before rolling it into a ball. You can mix this in a bowl too, but if you're only mixing up a couple of cookies, this method is easy and you dirty less dishes. I also added chocolate chips to some of the cookies and make sure you press them before baking them. These cookies do not rise and settle like other cookies do in the oven, so how they go in is exactly how they come out. Make sure to preheat your ovens to 350 degrees. When you're done decorating them, throw them in and set your timer for 10 minutes. Yes, they literally only take 10 minutes in the oven. This is how the cookies looked before they went in the oven, and this is what they look like when they came out. See, they literally didn't change at all. They're also very soft when they come out, so although it's very tempting to eat one while it's still hot, do not. It's going to crumble. Give it at least 10 minutes so they can cool down and settle.
Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what ingredients you would have added if you were making these cookies. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And until next time, have the best day ever and don't forget to spread some positivity today.